Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the island of Samoa and Talofa. Yeah. And Talofa is our greeting word. Talofa. Talofa. Welcome to the island of Samoa. We're located roughly around 2,600 miles southwest of Hawaii. We're right off of New Zealand. It takes about five hours by plane and two years by canoes. <laughs> That's why we are still here. We are waiting. But this is a uh, a setting of a family in Samoa, another village. Right behind you is a building that's been elevated to show significance. That is the Mount Tofa that belongs to the high chief, the big man. Right next to it is a Falitari Malo that belongs to you. That's our guest building. Anytime you visit my, my village, my island, you have nowhere to stay. That is your house. You know, just make yourself at home. Just check in with the front desk. And then this building here, the Fale Fono, this is our meeting house. And then right next to it is the Fale Nonofo, family dwelling. And then right next to the family dwelling, you see, you barely see from here, a small hut. Yeah, that is the pizza hut. <laughs> or the kitchen. The kitchen belongs to the men. In Samoa, the men do the cooking. <laughs> Two ladies are happy. <laughs> But uh, before our main culture presentation, uh, we are going to invite up. Uh, there's two different types of chiefs in the island of Samoa, the high chief and the talking chief. So we're going to invite up the talking chief to welcome you in our native tongue. His attire he wears around his waist, what we call a siapo, or a tapakwa, made from the bark of the paper mulberry tree. Around his neck, he wears the hula fawa, made from the fruits of the bandana tree. Stringing those fruits together represents unity within the chief's council. And on his shoulder, he has the fui, the Swiss of inspiration and knowledge. And in his hand, he holds the toto, or the staff of authority, to speak on behalf of his family and his village to welcome special guests like yourself. <laughs> Soy fua, soy fua means good health to you. Our talking chief just welcome you and uh, express his gratitude for you being here in the island of Samoa. And we hope that you enjoy your visit and learn something about our people and our culture. And we pray that the spirit of our ancestors guide you as you tour around our island. And when the time comes, as we return home to your loved ones, that we do so safely. So a round of applause, everybody, for our uh, talking chief. And at this time, we're going to uh, do a short fun activity. We're going to invite up this young man, the fastest changing man that we have here. <laughs> Superman. Round of applause, everybody, for uh, Papa! Thank you. Friends and friends, my job is to warm you guys up, so please put your hands together for me. Yeah. 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 Just like this. And rock. This is what we call Millie. I want to say Millie. Yeah. When I say Patsy, give me one loud clap. Patsy! Patsy! Awesome. Put your hands in a cupping shape like this and give me a bow. Bow! Bow! Butt! Butt! Bow! Bill! Butt! Bow! Terrible. That's how we all use microphones like this to instruct the people what to do. We use our hand signals. So when I point up, give me a butt. When I point down, give me a bow. Got it? Oh. <laughs> Let's try it anyways. So. Let me explain one more time. When I point up, give me a party. Yeah? Point down, give me a pose. Okay, you guys got it. Let's try it. Follow the hand signal.
Listen to you from now on. I will do the chores. I will do the dishes too. Do the laundry. Do my own laundry. Very good. All right, let's start with the fire. The method is rubbing sticks. It takes about an hour and a half. Sit back and relax. If you want to go for a walk, come back. I'll be waiting for you. We are the happy. All right, first thing you do, you cut yourself a branch out of any tree, try and look for a straight and young branch, and then you dry it out in the sun. When it's nice and dry, you make this little piece from the same type. Any wood works. That's what they told me <laughs> this morning <laughs> on my Facebook. <laughs> Please go on Facebook and get me as a friend. I only have one friend. My mom. That's what it's called. Here's how you hold it. Oh, so what I just did there, I trimmed the tip of the stick and I cut it flat on the tip, okay? We don't want a pointy tip. A pointy tip is just going to dig in the wood. We want a flat tip 
You have to create fine shavings that catch and fire easily. Put your thumb on the bottom, just a couple inches away from the tip. Same thing with the other hand. Place it right inside that groove. Elbow straight, angle the little stick 45 degrees or lower, and you do it like this. Don't bend your arms, you're gonna get tired. You should hold upper body. It's an hour and a half. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> you know, I try to apply for a survival show, and they say no. I try to make it in the break, they say no. But why? They say, well, when well, you guys are making it out of break. <laughs>
Besides the fire, with his two bus mosquito, we burned some of this and we chase them away. We bury the entire thing in the ocean for a couple of weeks, take it out, pound it, we make ropes. Take a look up there. The entire building is last together with this rope, made from this. Nails came to our island last year. This building has been here for over 15 years. Oh yes. Straight from here, remove the fibers just like that, wash the dishes with it, take a shower and use it as a loofah. Go to the restroom. <laughs> you know, during the pandemic, everybody was fighting on toilet paper. <laughs> we had no problem. <laughs> we got it covered. <laughs> Sir, come. We will show you how we do <laughs> Pass it around that side. You pass it this way, okay? Check it out, guys. Let me know what you think. It hurts for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's crack the coconuts. I know some of you want to try and crack one of these. First thing you got to do is locate the face. Any coconut has two eyes in the mouth. And there was a legend on how this face came about. That legend is very long and romantic, so we skip it. But here's what you need to do. Locate the line that runs right between the two eyes. That is the soft spot. Get something heavy and hard, and you hit across that line. You get two pieces. I use my forehead. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not crazy, okay? Use this rock. Say it. Rock. It's a boy, the rock. <laughs> you say ma. Ma. Locate the line that runs between the two eyes, hit it right across. If the coconut doesn't come out in two pieces, don't blame me. I'm from Samoa. This is a Hawaiian coconut. Made in China. Are you ready? Yes. Like this.
You move past what you work. You move slow, your father will hit you with the stick. I've been doing this all my life. One day I said to myself, okay, I am moving to America. The land of the free. And here I am. Doing the same thing. And I'm still happy. Are you happy? Yeah. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. You guys are awesome. Give yourselves a big hand. You guys are amazing. Wow. Keep rotating the shell if you ever get to try this, so you have an immense spreading process. You know, rotate that shell, your fingers might get caught inside. You're going to look like this. <laughs> Same shell is a drinking cup, barbecue with it, women, earrings, necklace, and so forth. <laughs> Make some milk. We use the fibers of the coconut husk. Gather the meat. Roll it. And squeeze. Everybody say milk. Milk. It's uh, more bitty bitty. Bitty bitty. Bitty bitty. bitty. Thank you. 